calculate the wavelength of the detected sound. That is the first question. Let's go ahead and take a look at our question statement. The siren of a stationary ambulance emits sound waves at a frequency of 680 hertz. A man is standing with a detector that records the wavelength of the sound emitted by the siren, as shown in the diagram below. The speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. Right, so the siren of a stationary ambulance emits sound waves at a frequency of 680 hertz. And the question is saying, let's calculate the wavelength of the detected sound. If the ambulance is stationary, the detected sound will have the same frequency the ambulance is emitting because it is stationary. There is no relative motion between the sound source and the observer. So what are we going to have? We're going to have the frequency detected being equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength. So what will be the frequency detected? The frequency detected will be the same as the frequency which is emitted because there is no relative motion between the sound source and the observer. So the frequency is 680 hertz. The velocity, the speed of sound in air, 340 meters per second. And then divided by the wavelength. We're interested in the wavelength here. So if we cross multiply, we're going to get 680 wavelength being equal to 340. So the wavelength is equal to 340 divided by 680. Eighty. This should be equal to 0 0.5 meters. So there we go. That is the wavelength of the detected sound. The frequency which is emitted by the stationary ambulance is the same frequency which is detected by the detector because the ambulance is stationary and the detector is also stationary. There is no relative motion. So the frequency emitted is the same as the frequency which is observed by the listener or which is detected by the detector in this case. That is the key to the first question. Let's take a look at the second question. The ambulance now moves at a constant speed along the road towards the man. Now there is a Doppler effect that is going to occur because the ambulance is now moving relative to the man. Right. The detector now records the wavelength of the sound, which differs from the previous reading by 0 0.05 meters. Calculate the speed of the ambulance. Right. So the wavelength has changed. It now differs by 0 0.05 meters. But did it increase by 0 0.05 meters or did it decrease? The ambulance is moving towards the man. So the wavelength decreases so that the frequency can increase. So take a look at this. The frequency emitted by the source is equal to 680 hertz. This is the frequency emitted by the source. But as for the frequency that is experienced by the listener or the frequency that is detected, we are only given the wavelength, right? Uh, because take a look at this. The wavelength that is detected by the listener will be equal to the wavelength emitted by the source minus 0 0.05 because it says here that it now differs by 0 0.05 meters. So why are we saying minus 0 0.05? Because the ambulance is moving towards the man. So the wavelength should be smaller and not bigger. If it was moving away, it will be plus 0 0.05. But here it is moving towards. So it's going to be minus so that we can have a shorter wavelength and a higher frequency. Right, so the initial wavelength, we know that it was 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05, this is 0 0.45 meters. So that is the wavelength that is experienced by the listener, which is detected by the detector, right? So from this wavelength, Obviously, we can go ahead and find the frequency which is experienced by the listener, the frequency observed. Right. What other variable do we have? We have V, 
speed of sound in a this is a constant so well let me not say it's a constant but it is given to us right it is not always 340 meters per second if i say it is a constant there might be that misconception that it must be always 340 but it's not and then we have the velocity of the detector well the velocity of the man the man is stationary so vl is equals to zero and then we are looking for the speed of the ambulance we are looking for vs what is vs right so take a look at this we're gonna have our equation fl is equals to v plus or minus vl divided by v plus or minus vs multiplied by fs so we have v we have vl we have fs we are looking for vs but we still don't have fl we still don't have fl so let's just go ahead and calculate fl so to in order to calculate fl we're going to say that fl is equals to so frequency is velocity divided by wavelength right we have the velocity which is 340 and then the wavelength which is 0 0.45 so we can go ahead and substitute that in place of fl so in place of fl we have 340 divided by the wavelength which is 0 0.45 this is equals to the velocity the speed of sound in air not the velocity we talk about speed in doppler effect so 340 the listener is stationary so plus or minus zero is not going to change anything divided by 340 the ambulance is moving towards the man so we should have minus vs if it was moving away we would have plus vs multiplied by the frequency that is emitted this is 680 hertz so at this point we are done with the physics we just need to solve the math but a lot of people still make a mistake even if they manage to get to this point okay let's just say 340 divided by 0 0.45 uh, that is 755.5555 uh, let me drag this up here so we're gonna have 755.5556 being equals to 340 divided by 340 minus v as multiplied by 680 so now i can divide both sides by 680 right so let me divide here by 680 and also divide here by 680 so 680 and 680 would cancel out on the left hand side i'm left with 1.1111 being equals to 340 divided by 340 minus vs so we can rearrange this and have 340 minus vs being equals to 340 divided by 1.1111 so i'm getting 340 minus vs being equals to 306 so minus vs will be 306 minus 340 which is minus 34 if we divide both sides by minus 1 vs should be equals to 34 meters per second